Welcome to Rehash. On the internet, we're all news. This old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hello, I'm Nate Legion, and you're watching Rehash. Thank you so much to Nate Legion, who provided our intro. Uh, if you'd like to be awesome like him, just let us know in the description down below. You'll find a link to where you can provide an intro of you introducing us. Today, I wanted to talk to you about an awesome cover I found on the interwebs. And Zach wanted to talk about who and what now? Tiny things eating tiny food. Tiny things eating tiny food. Yeah, but it's tiny. Tiny, 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 tiny. Tiny, 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 tiny. It's a lot of tiny. Yeah. All right, so I'll go first if you don't mind. Matt, go ahead. I wanted to talk to the Freedom Family and, of course, the Rehashionians. I don't know. You guys haven't, Rehashionians. You guys haven't hey. even named yourselves yet, but whoever you are, I wanted to talk to all of you people about... Um, this this awesome cover that I found. Now it's a Western cover of the Game of Thrones intro song theme thing, and uh, I have not yet di di dove in, dive in, dive dove dive 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 dive. Yes, I have not done that with Game of Thrones yet. However, um, the theme has pretty much it's changed my life already. Even though I don't really know what it means. Yeah, see, I feel bad because I haven't watched a lot of Game of Thrones. I try to, but I just. Um, but yes, this is uh, an awesome thing, and uh, if you'd like to check out the original, link is in the description. I want you to go spam them with hashtag rehash. Also, I want you to know that uh, Freedom very shortly will allow you to do awesome things like this, because we're going to allow people to do covers and monetize them on their channels. Hey! Yeah. Alright. Um, that's, that, that wasn't planned, that's just kind of... This is how we segued into it. Yeah. Yeah, then tiny things with tiny people and whatnot. Alright, so guys, if... If you watch a lot of YouTube videos like myself, I, for the most part, only watch hours of YouTube videos every single day. Mm -hmm. But you, and tiny hamsters, if you guys haven't heard of it, they pretty much sit hamsters down like normal human beings. They like put them on vacation, they put them in little costumes, they fix them tiny things like tiny burritos, tiny barbecue, tiny cake. They do all kinds of insane things and they record it. It's just a cheesy video, and for some odd reason, they all get millions of views. So if you guys want to go check it out, rip the description open, click it, and then comment rehash. And that way, maybe they'll notice us. Why are you always ripping stuff? You gotta rip the description open and click all the links. All of them? Yeah. Even the one I'm gonna put in the description about you without your shirt on. I don't know how you got that image, but yeah, people can click that one too. Gotta sleep sometime. Yeah. Gotta sleep sometime. In addition to that, as a follow-up, I wanted to bring this up. On screen now you'll actually see um, what happens when we start discussing rehash topics in the office. Uh, myself and one other Freedom staff member uh, decided to go to Cold Stone Creamery to watch and see if we could get them to start playing with the ice cream. Not only did they play with the ice cream, they actually trained our staff member to basically do all of this crazy stuff. Like, they had like a practice ball and everything, yeah. and by the time they were done, he looks like a Banff. Banff. B Banff is a place in Canada. Banff. Well, see, what amazes me is the fact that he was able to do it, because, uh, like I said, I can let alone get ice cream out of the thing, let alone throw it up in the air and catch it, so all the props to him. So yeah, so if you find yourself at a Cold Stone Creamery and they're not necessarily busy at that time, um, start talking to the employees. Maybe you can get yourself some good YouTube footage. Maybe you could just have a good time. We spent about an hour there really? last night. Yeah. Because I was locked out of my condo. Thanks, Dale. So now to bring things to a serious, serious note here on Rehash. We don't do this very often. But it's time for the comments! Hey! No. B no. C no okay. comments. So yesterday's video was about two very polarizing topics. One of them being the Confederate flag being jerked out of stores and um, people using it uh, in, in a negative way. Right. And the other one being that um, in America, the, the bans on gay marriage were found unconstitutional. So we were expecting a little bit of pushback um, with this. We, we were kind of expecting that people would have their own opinions and discuss them openly. And people did, but there is one thing that I saw reoccurring in the comments that I feel the need to point out and discuss. Now, there's not a single comment that I can point to on this, um, but it is something that I wanted to address. The uh, people pointed out the historical, um, the historical uh, aspect of the 
rebel flag. Right. So just keep that in mind when you're talking about this. You're not wrong, but there is a definite strong counter argument with that. And that's all I have to say about that. You had comments, Hector Geese? Yeah, so if you guys don't know me at a personal level, these last few weeks I've been recording with no glasses. And I'm pretty much blind. I can't see anything. So for the last few weeks I've been pretending I can see without glasses, but in reality I, I need them. So I yeah, see I can see now because I have contacts. Hey! So over the last few weeks you have noticed Sorry, I'm contacting you. Contact I've been contacted by Anthony. So normally you guys will notice I have to like lean in really close to be able to see the comments. But either way, Dice Extra says, Congratulations, Heroic Gaming. I was waiting for you. Love the new haircut, Zach, and I was watching the eight or eight minute part like nine times where I was going like making like weird faces. I tend to do that from time to time. I guess I Really? Have. You admit that now? I do it ever so often. I don't do it on purpose. It's just I get a random, you know, urge to want to do stuff like that. But thank you for noticing the awesome haircut. I just got contacts. I'm trying to change it up a little bit. But yeah, that's the comment from Dissectra. Very Good nice. Shout out to that guy. Now, that being said, I do feel a need to say I, too, wear glasses and pretend to be blind. But I don't want to put glass in my eyeballs. See? Special rehash shout out to Nate Legion, who did introduce us today. Now, Nate Legion does a lot of different content on his channel, not necessarily so regularly. He used to do a lot of FTL or faster than light playthroughs. And it seems like he's mixing it up lately with some IRL type, you know, sitting in a chair, talking to the camera type vlogs, and also some miscellaneous gameplay. And we do have a little bit of uh, information slash you know, just advice type things for him. Um, definitely more text in your description. Describe your videos accurately. Um, right now, it, you're, you don't have a lot of text, which means that it's going to be very hard for people to find you. Same thing with tags. You gotta fill that box. Don't... Um, there's a common misconception when it comes to spam tags. Spam tags doesn't necessarily mean using a lot of tags. Spam tags means either putting tags in your description where they don't belong, or putting tags that have nothing to do with your video. So please do fill that box and you're, you'll find that you'll get a lot more views. Also, turn on browse view for your channel. You're going to get a lot more return subscribers, you're going to have a lot more people shopping for good content on your channel, and you'll be able to highlight what you want people to see. Hey, for the most part, if I could suggest anything as a YouTube content creator, I don't have a lot of time to upload as much as I'd like to, but, you know, if I can suggest anything, I don't know, is this guy a Let's Play channel? Does he do news? I, I, I don't know. For the most part, he, he uploads a huge variety of content, and if I can suggest anything, try to find a happy medium of content that you want to do. If you want to do Minecraft, then do Minecraft. If you want to do just Let's Plays on games like Fallout, then do Let's Plays on Fallout. I mean, there's a happy mixture that you have to do. If you're uploading a huge variety of games, you're going to get a fan base for each game, mm. and unless you have a very strong connection or a very strong face to your channel, you're really not going to get a lot of viewers that come to the channel for you. you know what and, I and you will find that. Currently he's sitting at about 30 subscribers, which honestly I don't feel at 30 subscribers you have enough of a pull to be able to go in multiple directions. Some people pull it off and they're very successful at it, and I feel that in the future you'll have more success, but right now I think that you need to specialize and, and work on those niche markets to gain a following that cares more about you than they do about the game. Yeah. Alright, well I believe that wraps it up. Yeah, no, I agree too. Alright. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, freedom. Family. Watch Dale get death threats. <laughs> <laughs> we spent about an hour there really? last night. Yeah. Because I was locked out of my condo. Thanks, Dale.